Welcome to Jolo 3D. In today's quick tips tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of creating custom clothing for your CC4 characters using Blender and Marvelous Designer. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced 3D artist, these tips will help you bring your character designs to life with realistic and detailed clothing. Step 1. Export base character for fitting. Before creating any costumes, we need to export our character as an OBJ file for fitting purposes. This base character will serve as the foundation for your design clothing. Let's save it as base character. Step 2. Creating the costume in Blender. Open Blender and import the base character OBJ file we saved from CC4. Delete unnecessary elements. For easy extraction, delete the bra by pressing X, then selecting Delete. Select Geometry for clothing. Switch to Wireframe mode and box select the geometry you want to use for the clothing. Switch to Face Selection Mode and use Alt plus click to select Edge Loops. Use the C key to paint select additional faces as needed. Then we change to Sculpt mode and use the grab brush to pull the mesh and adjust the edges of the clothing. Add loop cuts and merge the mesh to improve topology. Scale in the edges to create a fake thickness for better realism. Edit the UV map and average the islands to ensure the UV textures are evenly distributed. Finally, we could add materials for the cloth. Basically, you could now use it in CC4, and you could now move to step 5. Import the costumes into CC4. But if you have Marvelous Designer and Substance Painter now, I would enhance the realism for the clothing. Step 3. Adding Natural Wrinkles in Marvelous Designer Subdivide the mesh in Blender to ensure there are enough polygons to capture wrinkle effects. Export it as Final Shirt B. Open Marvelous Designer and import the base character from CC4. Then, import Final Shirt B as an OBJ garment. Press the Simulation button in Marvelous Designer to apply realistic wrinkle effects to the clothing. We could also using pressure to enhance the wrinkle effect, and let's grip and fine tune it. These steps will help you create more realistic and detailed clothing for your CC4 characters using Blender and Marvelous Designer. Step 4 Texturing the clothing using Substance Painter. When you import the clothing in Substance Painter, you would get such ugly normal textures. It is because there would be some irregular normal map generate from Marvelous Designer.
To solve this, we could use Shade Smooth in Blender and export it back to Substance Painter. Now, let's re-import the clothing to see the improvements. We'll test various smart materials to find the perfect fit for our design. Next, we apply leather materials to the edges and color for added detail. With our realistic textures in place, it's time to export the clothing to CC4 for the final fitting. Step 5. Importing the clothing to CC4. In CC4, we import the clothing by creating it as an accessory. After importing, you might notice some minor position differences due to Blender's settings. Based on my experience, adjust the position by subtracting 6 in the Y axis and subtracting 1 in the Z axis. You can fine tune these adjustments manually for a perfect fit. Next, we import the textures generated in Substance Painter. The essential textures include the base color map, bump map, metallic map, and roughness map. If you notice any defects in the clothing, it might be due to quick or careless mistakes during material painting in Substance Painter. Simply go back to Substance Painter and fine tune the materials With these adjustments, your clothing should be ready for use in CC4. That's it. Your clothing creation process is complete. Step 6. Apply transfer weight for the shirt in CC4. After completing the clothing creation, click the transfer skin weight function in CC4. This ensures the clothing moves naturally with the character. After transferring the skin weights, apply some animations to the character to check the fitting and ensure everything looks and moves correctly. In some cases, you may encounter skin penetration issues. Here are three methods to solve this problem. Firstly, you can paint the weights better to define the relationship between the cloth and the bones. This helps ensure that the clothing moves correctly with the character's movements. Secondly, use the Edit Mesh function to manually adjust the mesh of the clothing. Pull the mesh up or make other adjustments to eliminate any penetration issues. Thirdly, use the Hide Body Mesh tool to hide the mesh under the shirt, preventing any visible penetration issues. Here we go, you have created the fitted cloth for your character. There you have it. You've successfully created and fitted custom clothing for your character in CC4. By following these steps, you can ensure that your clothing not only looks great, but also moves naturally with your character. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to Jolo3D for more tips and guides on 3D modeling and animation. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.